Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you the basic of audio docking in Filmora. So this effect is actually quite popular. Essentially, if you have a video and then you have some background music with audio docking effect, you can make the background music to be less audible when there is a person talking in your video, but it's going to be a bit louder. It's going to be more prominent when the video went silent. So it's going to make the whole video more engaging. There is no more awkward silent and it's actually a good practice. You probably have seen that a lot of times in videos on YouTube or even in movies. So here's how you can do it using Filmora. I have this clip that I got from a YouTube channel, uh, uh, Linus, Linus Tech Tip. So I'm going to use that as an example. So I'm going to put this video and then I'm going to add some photos, just a silent photo. There is no audio at all. And then I'm going to put another video. And now I'm going to play these clips together so we can compare it later after applying the audio ducking effect that using it to bump up an already low frame rate will make it feel even worse to play as it adds more latency. Okay, it's just silent now. Deflated? Me too. Taking every- Okay, so that's basically how the audio is going to sound like for on these clips. Now I'm going to add some background music to it. And I guess I, I want to try something else. Uh, I don't like that background music. Let's try this. So, uh, there is a background music. I'm going to play it again and you will see the difference but using it to bump up an already low frame rate will make it okay so basically there's no difference when there is an audio or there is no audio in this clip these main clips so we want to apply audio ducking to this clip what you need to do is that you have to select the clips that you want to apply audio ducking i'm going to select all of them and after that go to audio and you have to visit the audio ducking effect, enable that. Now, this is the number that you can customize by default is 50%, but usually I think that's good enough. Sometimes it's 50 to 70, but then again, it depends on uh, how loud the background music should be. Of course, this is something that you can customize later after uh, testing a uh, previous setting. Anyway, let's play these clips again and you will see the difference that using it to bump up an already low frame rate will make it feel even worse to play as it adds more latency. Deflated? Me too. Taking everything into account, we have a next gen- Well, as you can see, the audio is barely audible here. And then it got way louder in this section when there is no audio, when it's silent. But then it's automatically soften or you know get lowered after uh, we are approaching this video this clip when there is a person talking so that's really the benefit of using the audio ducking effect of course you can use this effect in conjunction with other effects like i could apply something like auto normalization i could also apply a sound balance i could also apply uh volume level i could adjust the level to something that's more appropriate but basically audio ducking is going to be helpful is if you have a background music but we're not stopping here yet because there is another thing that you might want to know so let's go back uh let's apply some audio sound effect to this video i'm going to add uh, some random sound effect it doesn't really matter this is just for testing so let's try Mm, let me see sound effect and let's try mouse click just a simple mouse click okay let's apply it right here at the bottom it's very very short now this audio this mouse clip is not going to be audible deflated meet almost inaudible almost but there's a way to make this a uh, tiny mouse click sound effect more audible so basically what you need to do is you have to apply audio ducking effect to this audio section and yeah audio ducking can be applied for multiple clips even on a different section of the timeline so let's apply that and now we should be able to listen or hear this mouse sound click let's click that deflated as you can see as you can hear it's more audible Deflated? Well, yeah, that's, I guess that's basically the way you can apply audio ducking on your 
Filmora project. If you find this video to be helpful, then please consider subscribing to this channel and I'll see you on the next tutorial video. Take care.